Well, hello everyone. I'd like to tell you about a work of art that is very special to me. It's called A Humament, and the artist is Tom Phillips. This artwork has always been there, somewhere in a corner of my head, and it resurfaced recently when I listened to the one and only great album by an old and short-lived British, genius British uh, rock band called Dark Star, for which Tom Phillips, the artist I'd like to tell you about today, has designed the album cover. Anyway, Tom Phillips is a quite famous and recognised British artist and composer who was born in 1937 in London and has lived there for most of his life and still does today actually. He has received many prizes and much distinction for his art including retrospectives at the prestigious National Gallery in London and has been made a commander of the British Empire for Services to the Arts, one of the highest distinctions for an artist in the UK. He is a very talented artist who can write stories, compose operas, work for television and of course paints using many techniques like collages, cutting, pasting, drawing and of course painting. His most famous and original work and the one I'd like to tell you about today now is called A Humament. There's a very unique story behind this artwork. One day of 1966, Tom Phillips had an idea that was inspired by him, uh, to him, sorry, by American beat poet William Burroughs. He set himself a task to find a second-hand book, three pence, and alter every page by painting, collage, and cut-up techniques to create an entirely new version. The book he found was an 1892 Victorian obscure novel, A Human Document, by W. H. Malick, and Phillips transformed it into a humament. The first version was printed in 1973, and Phillips has continued to transform it, revise it, and develop it ever since. A humament has been a work in progress since 1966, and since then, many versions were published, including the very last one in 2012, some 50 years after starting the project, and even a digital version was made available on the App Store at the time. He has also recorded his complete reading of A Humanment. In this altered version of the book, Tom Phillips has selected a few words in sorts of bubbles, that stand out in what looks like white streams or rivers on the page and the background in, uh, against the colours of the drawings all around, creating a new story with new characters who have new names. Sometimes the drawings on the pages illustrate the new contents, but sometimes they are just abstract or act as decoration, emphasising the poetic dimension of the new work. The results I find is beautiful and fascinating, but also offers an interesting reflection on language and art through the blending of literature and artistic expression. A humament is so rich and has so many details that you could carry it in your bag and have it in your pockets. Have a quick look at some pages from time to time and never be tired of it in a lifetime. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and that it made you want to find out more about Tom Phillips and the humanments and also the rock band Dark Star.